Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna read a book called A World of Food. Discover magical lands made of things you can eat. Have you ever wondered what it must be like if there were ice cream castles, pumpkin cottages, broccoli forests, and even pasta palm trees? This book will take you on an adventure to explore the colorful miniature landscapes made entirely of edible ingredients. Let's have a look together. If all the world were yellow, a desert it would be of couscous, rice, and yellow beans as far as you could see. Over pyramids of holy cheese and golden grainy dunes, We'd fly around in pasta ships beneath hot air balloons. Here and there, we'd stop and drink from pools of lemonade among the pasta palm trees in the mellow yellow shade. If all the world were gray, there wouldn't be much room, for every inch of ground would sprout a tasty gray mushroom. Fairy rings and toadstool towers would climb toward the sky with long, tall stems and rounded roofs like cities of fungi. And where the land comes to an end, there lies a sea of glue where you can take a nice warm swim in creamy mushroom soup. If all the world were gold, in autumn we would see the golden leaves of dried cornflakes that fall from every tree around our feet, so crisp and deep. This crunchy carpet lies beneath a lamp of cinnamon sticks and silent starry skies. Dry stone walls of roasted nuts surround our sweet homesteads, where candles glow from cobs of corn on windowsills of bread. If all the world were orange, we lived in pumpkin houses, where carrots, beans, and tangerines form trees and rocks around us. Sunny streams of orange juice would tumble over peaches and lap the shores of mango stones on lazy lentil beaches. Like glowing leaves, the apricots dry softly in the sun as beams of light warm gourds and squash until the day is done. If all the world were brown, we'd live on chocolate cake, where chocolate trains would ride around a melted toffee lake. On rails and tracks of candy snacks, they clatter on their way, past chocolate-covered raisin rocks where small sweet rabbits play. With soft brown sugar puffs of smoke, the engines would grow louder bursting out of tunnels deep from hills of cocoa powder. If all the world were red, the mountains would be meat, where rocky ribs of pork and beef cook slowly in the heat. Upon a spiky jackfruit stone, a pepper scorpion sits and stares across the salty plains of crispy bacon bits. Behind his jalapeno claws, there hides a fiery sting. His tangy red-hot chili tail brings heat to everything. If all the world were pink, we'd live in a candy land, in houses made from soft nougat that breaks off in your hand. Licorice doors and window frames and chocolate button tiles would keep the rain of marine clouds from dampening our smiles. Around the house, a garden grows with jelly beans and gummy fruits, and lollipop trees swirl round and round on twirling trunks and raspberry roots. If all the world were purple, how lovely it would be to live inside a garlic bulb beneath an allium tree, snug within our scented clothes beside a riverbed We'd watch as flavored oil flows from hills of garlic bread. And if we ever lost our way among the allium trees, a garlic moon would guide us home through purple cabbage leaves. 
all the world were green, we'd live in forests, fields, and woods, where curly kale and broccoli trees would be our streets and neighborhoods. Like herbivores on forest floors, we'd walk through fresh green herbs and share our time with passersby in leafy, lush suburbs. We'd cross a bridge of cucumber and climb upon a hill, then lay our heads in flower beds of parsley, sage, and dill. If all the world were silver, it would be made of fish whose scaly skins of steely sheen would shimmer, shine, and swish. Their heads and tails and ships with sails would fill up all the seas, and waves of mackerel, cod, and bass would ripple on the breeze. The early morning of fishermen on wakes of salmon ride and balance on the salty scales that rise upon the tide. All the world were white, the land would be ice cream, with trees and rocks so cold and sweet, like a frozen frosty dream. Upon a misty mountain top of fountain sugar frost, an ice cream castle waits on high for travelers who are lost. Within its tall white chocolate walls are rooms of every size, and pointed towers of waffle cones rise up into the skies. Instead, the world has many colors and tastes, from salty to sweet. And with all this variety, there's so much you can eat. From yellow cheese and blueberries to fresh green broccoli, there are fields and farms of vegetables and fruits in every tree. So when you go to sleep tonight, make sure that you don't waste the chance to dream of all the worlds that you have yet to taste.